Hey booze. She is currently in her antique shop era. Where do I start? Um, my online antique shop launched on Monday. It's now Thursday. The trunk is crazy. I quickly rushed and got everything packaged up because I'm headed to LA in like eight hours. I'm going to the airport and flying to my LA home. I came all the way back here to Pennsylvania to launch the online shop. I was originally gonna try to do it from LA and then I was like, no, I gotta do that from home. So Johnny and I are going back to LA I would say tonight, but it's like early a.m. because our flight's at five in the morning. So you guys are gonna, so you guys are gonna get ready with me to travel and like have a travel day together. And then as soon as I get to LA, it's time to relax, but also take care of some beauty maintenance. Yeah, packaging everything really did something to my back. I got a massage last night and I'm just super scared to just like, you know, be crammed up in a plane. So we got beds on this plane. I noticed when I was home, like I love doing the antique shop from home, but I am just like creatively stunted anymore in Pennsylvania. And I've been like brainstorming all these things I wanna do when I'm back tomorrow. I did get invited to like an Easter ball at like an estate. I got invited to like some movie premieres and like I got some stuff lined up so I'm like really excited. So we're gonna continue to sell items from the other coast on whatnot. And if you guys haven't followed like our Instagram for our antique shop, you guys should totally follow it because we're gonna keep you posted listings and stuff. But with that being said, I'm gonna head to the post office, drop off some of these boxes and let's get ready for this travel vlog. So my laundry room is in my basement and I never showed it to you, but look. In honor of eternal sunshine coming out tonight. <laughs> so this is like my own little corner and my own little chair. So there's a lot of stuff that is dirty that I would love to bring with me tonight to LA. So I'm gonna be washing that, whoops. So as I'm packing, my Mew Mew heel got stuck to this vest, and I feel like it's a concept. Look, I think I like this better. My suitcase is always a beautiful mess, a beautiful heavy mess. I can already tell this is gonna be overweight. So I'm bringing this um, carry-on. I shouldn't even pack like my luxuries in a check-in bag anyway, so I'm just gonna bring those with me in my carry-on, and hopefully the weight will be no problem. So I'm gonna pack this beautiful dress that I thrifted. Those of you who follow me on TikTok and Reels know I found this at a thrift shop. I got invited to an Easter estate party with special people. So I definitely need like a really, really extra outfit. Macaroons, Marie Antoinette vibes. I don't know. I honestly don't know what to expect, but I know that this is giving Easter princess, so. Hey guys, so I'm here in my LA home and I'm currently cosplaying or doing a We're Not Friends inspired look. You guys saw um, on TikTok and Instagram Reels, I literally thrifted this dress last week. It's so beautiful. It originally reminded me of Truly Scrumptious from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And then I landed from my red eye flight and the We're Not Friends music video released. And this dress, I was like, oh my gosh. I know I packed it for that Easter estate party, but, but like, look at this. It's like, it's so perfect. I had to head to the airport at like one in the morning last night to get on a 5 a.m. flight and the album released at midnight. So on the way to the airport, listen to the entire album and then like on repeat on the airplane. And I didn't even watch a movie. <laughs> I really, really, really fell in love with this album. And I know there's so many mixed feelings online about me just like being a public open fan and supporter. When I say there have been so many requests to hear my review on this album, there have been so many requests. To those of you who just like love to come on my videos and like hate for no reason, I wanna let you know, 
I am very well aware that I'm a grown ass woman now. I know someone said you're pushing 40 and still doing this. Yeah, they added 12 years to my life just to try to prove a point. But you could say I'm pushing 40. There's no problem, even if I was. Um, but I just, you know, I love to dress up and I'm very histrionic. I have a very histrionic personality and this stuff makes me happy. It's not hurting you. I've been getting so many questions from you guys um, wanting to hear my thoughts on the album and knowing and understanding that there is a level of relatability from what has happened in my life to this album. This album is honestly just so special. The fact that she's just so honest, open, she's storytelling essentially, melodically, it just the, some melodies just really pull out like your heart. A very, very beautiful piece of work. There was one comment that was like, I can only imagine you and Nikki's emotions while listening to this album. And if you guys haven't seen our channels or channel together in a long time, Nikki and I went through breakups with like long-term relationships. What I will say is I needed this album like two years ago, really badly. And I'm so glad that I have it now. Her music video, I just, I really feel like I just can't talk about it because I will like actually start crying and I'm really not trying to do that. I already know there's like people on here just like waiting for me like to do something like screen capable to like make fun of. You'll go nowhere if you're scared of being cringy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna quickly go through like the tracks and just like three sentences each kind of summarize how I feel about each of them. Okay, so intro end of the world I thought was like the perfect way to open the meaning of this album. She's questioning herself. The last track she's very sure of herself. I feel like we're a part of this journey. Like she's opening the journey of just like her mind and what she's gone through. Um, her questions, it's very relatable like what she's questioning. And then bye. Don't get me started. That is so good. It is such a good song. I feel like that would be my favorite song if We Can't Be Friends wasn't on the album. We Can't Be Friends, I, I'll be honest, I'm just gonna talk about it right now. That is a song that is just so nostalgic. It's like nostalgic pop. It's giving like some Swedish pop vibes. Um, it reminds me a little bit of like Dancing On Your Own by Robin. You guys know like Call Your Girlfriend. I'm almost getting a little ABBA. I don't know how, but like, uh, I don't know. Something I would sing. I just love that song so much. Bye, I expect to hear that at the clubs. Like, I wanna see a music video to this of just dancing. I feel like the lyrics are just so like relatable and like Courtney rolling up or pulling up. She's getting her stuff. It's, I feel like it's encouraging too, um, the lyrics. I just have to say emphasis on relatable. Like this whole album is just so relatable. Don't wanna break up again. <laughs> Uh, the first verse, the first verse. I feel like we're all hung up on the first verse. I've literally been in that same situation and I just can't believe she put that in a song and I'm so happy she did. Saturn Returns interlude. Um, I'm pretty sure my Saturn Return just ended or it's ending. I don't know. She was so real for making this an interlude so that like people could understand and like learn about it through this album. Eternal Sunshine, um, it's very melancholy and sad, like the beat is sexy and sad, but it's like spilling tea. I feel like every song on this album has like a layer of like, not sad, but like melancholy. The album was rightfully named, I feel like the song explains pretty much everything. Supernatural, I want to sing this with Nikki. I love this song, it's such a bop, like, that. okay, so I think Supernatural by and we Can't Be Friends are my top three. True Story is such a vibe and I love that she gets to tell her side of the story in like a song. <laughs> the Boy Is Mine is definitely giving fantasize vibes and I honestly like it better. This is another song I wanna see a dance to. Like every time I hear it, I wanna dance but I don't know what move because there's no like reference video of a dance yet. So yes and now just like doesn't fit, fit in anymore. If I had any like anything negative, to, it's not even negative, just the fact that Yes And doesn't fit in. Like it just doesn't fit with all the other songs, personally, I don't think so. I Wish I Hated You sounds like a musical theater moment. I could see the song in like a performance of Wicked. It just sounds like one of those like ballads where like the lead just goes off and like laments and just like is reflecting on a moment. I, I can't explain it. It just really sounds like a Broadway ballad and that's why I love it so much. And you could really hear in her voice and I feel like these lyrics, like more than any of the lyrics on this album, I feel like sting. I'm gonna skip talking about this. After the things that I've gone through in the past three years, this album like is definitely very healing and it's never too late to heal. And I'm just glad like this work is out there so we can all listen to it when we're needing a shoulder to cry on. I'm perfect for you, I'm perfect for you, I'm perfect for you. I feel like this sounds, I was shook by the guitar like when I started hearing this guitar, this dream guitar, I was like, 
okay but i love it and i think it's very beautiful i could also picture like madison beer singing this song for some reason i think her performance of this was so good i think this is like a very mature love song I know every album has its love song, but I feel like this is like a very mature take on like her love ballads. Ordinary Things, I feel like was the perfect way to close the album. I feel like it's a very romantic song. The words have so much meaning. And then with Nona at the end, like what she says, I just felt like it was very kind of her to do that because not everybody can just go to their grandma for advice. And yeah, it was very beautiful advice and it was true and um yeah that's it for my review it might have been quick i don't care if it was disappointing i just really can't talk too much on this subject i feel weird talking too much on the subject i'm still like you know warming up to like being an open stan um but anyways i really want to clean the cottage so that i can give my little haul as you guys saw i arrived to so many packages and that's because some of the things that like i was ordering the last time i was here like a month ago i didn't realize it was going to take a while to arrive so a lot of spring things came in the mail and then i think some pr Glossier has like this pop-up where you get like to shop makeup all in this big like blush pink building I don't know if it's reading on camera and then they have like their little Alfred pop-up in the alleyway and they have a pink Glossier iced coffee which obviously I'm gonna be getting comfortable hoodie for this unboxing i got some lashes and pr makeup sweet beauty i've been so excited to try this oh my gosh but yeah we want to get like floral bushes and stuff for out there like tea party oh my gosh oh thank you so much teacup castle this is so cute it looks like peep it's a bunny necklace for the Easter season, Gapster season. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so cute. I'm wearing this tonight. It was giving like medieval princess vibes with like the top sleeves and then like the flowy bottom sleeve. I don't even know what the terminology is for this type of sleeve, but it's like a sleeve in a sleeve, if you know what I mean. This is my Easter nightgown. I'm pretty sure this is my Easter candle. Um, you know how like you go onto a website and like you spin one of those things to see like what discount you're gonna get? I did that and I never win those and it said I got 75% off or something ridiculous or like 60. Oh my gosh, guys, this is sun-kissed daffodils. Look at the little duck on here. This is a Goose Creek candle. So Eastery. Oh my gosh. This smells nostalgic. It's giving like Dove body wash. I don't know, it's very clean. I love clean scents. I got my sugar bear hair. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting these. And a brush. Thank you, sugar bear. Oh my gosh. No way. Makeup by Mario PR. <gasps> I'm so excited right now. Guys, I love Makeup by Mario. Oh my gosh, the concealers. And the foundation. I'm so excited right now. Is this a brush? A cosmetic foundation brush. This is like my favorite makeup brand and I'm on their PR list now. Miss Circle sent me some Easter dresses and I'm really excited to show you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Look at this Easter dress. 
This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I belong in a field. Oh my gosh, look at this. This looks vintage. I love this corset. I feel like it's gonna be so flattering. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Miss Circle. These look so beautiful next to each other. But Johnny and I are gonna go to the garden center to look for like plants and shrubs for like the balcony because we want it to look very like fairy tale whimsical. Yeah, they smell like honeysuckles. That is so cute for the table. That reads well. Good morning, I have new hair and new foundation. As you guys saw, I'm on Makeup by Mario's PR list. Couldn't be happier about this. I had to try out this foundation. As you can hear, there are some renovations happening, like really loud ones, almost like a demo. This foundation is first of all the perfect shade, so whoever works on the PR team, seriously thank you. What shade is this? 9W, thank you. And this brush is so flawless. It makes the application look so smooth. I'm so happy with it. Let's talk about this hair color. So I posted a TikTok last night. I went to a Killian event. I didn't vlog it, but I went to a Killian perfume event. I left my goodie bag in Val's car. I'm so mad because I wanted to show you the perfume. It's called Sunkiss Goddess. But anyways, I made a get ready with me and posted like my new hair. The toner's different this time. Instead of doing like the yellow blonde, I did like a butterscotch rose gold toner. This is intentional, but some of the beige girls are like, get a toner. It reminds me of like Thumbelina blonde, cartoon Cinderella blonde blonde or like goldilocks it is so windy out it's kind of a vibe though i'm getting ready to go have tea with annie she's the ceo of serpenti ironically i have a movie screening later today i got invited to it last minute it's for the new palm royale and i wanted something new to wear so i texted her directions on where to come pick me up and um i was like by the way can you just like bring a dress or like bring some looks because i don't know what i'm wearing tonight she's like yeah i got you so not only are we going to get tea but i'm gonna look at the selection of outfits for tonight <laughs> this foundation is just so smooth like i feel like that bronzer is just so seamless on this foundation oh my gosh this is my new Easter mug from Target. Target is literally killing it for the Easter season this year. There was also more PR that I didn't show you guys. Like more came in after I filmed the unboxing haul. And oh my gosh, the amount of compliments that I've been receiving wearing this perfume. I know I just went to a Killian event last night, so I should probably be plugging them in, but the sniff perfume called Tarte Deco. So it's cherry, mimosa, rose, vanilla, and vetiver. It's so good. <clears throat> Men have been noticing that scent. It's not common for the types of like, perfume I like. Usually like vanilla, it's like all the girlies are complimenting that, but like so good. Is the TikTok ban real? I keep seeing so many TikToks about it. It's making me sad because those of you who are following me on TikTok can tell that like I have found a new passion in TikTok. The types of videos I used to make in like 2015, the very aesthetic, be like I found that type of love like on TikTok. Oh my gosh, camera, please stay. the hills um i don't know like the types of videos i started youtube doing like remaking things or just making like aesthetic compilations like i'm finding a passion in that essentially i've become like a full-time tiktoker i post like one to three tiktoks a day 
so that would be really sad i feel like it's a really fun creative outlet i'm having so much fun with it i don't know what to believe because the news says it's like definitely getting banned but like my managers are like tiktok's not going anywhere so Another perfume I wanted to show you guys is also by the same brand that makes Tarte Deco. I'm not sponsored. I just really like their perfumes. But this one's called Crumb Couture. And there's like notes of like blueberry, vanilla, like pastry. The notes are, ooh, croissant, vanilla, black currant, tonka bean, sandalwood, and rose jam. So it smells like pie. It's so good. Croissant. These notes, the notes in these are like just so different. Mimosa, croissant, like they just smell so good. On top of it... Sorry about all the noise. On top of it, I like to use the Jizu Honey Infused Hair Perfume. That's what you saw me putting in my Pilates bag. I've been loving the Cream Shadow Champagne Eyes to Mesmerize, Charlotte Tilbury. I've been using it like the cream highlight. Like, so good. Look at that glow. See you at tea. This little jumper. Oh, that is so cute. Yeah, so she's gonna print a graphic on it, and then the shorts are gonna become <gasps> really short. Are they like bloomers? Yeah, they're like bloomers. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be cuter. This one, they made completely wrong. It's supposed to be like a mini, like poofy dress, and it just came out. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, it's gonna look a lot better, but uh, there are one of these two, I think, might be really nice for the event. Ooh. So this has a bodysuit underneath. <gasps> Okay. And then the legs are sheer. Never uh, been worn. It's like this white satin vintage inspired oh dress. Oh my gosh. It looks like a vintage night Yeah, slip. that's what it's inspired by. It'll be a little big on you, even though it's a oh small. My gosh. So it's called the Valentina set. And it has this little tool mini skirt that pairs with it. Gosh. Yeah. This I one's cannot. kind of amazing, right? And it has my signature puff details, the heavy ruching here at the oh. top of the shoulder. You have little button details and the V slit at the wrist. And then you have also probably the most amazing part of the design, which is this V shaped waistband. Oh my so God. basically, it just sucks you in and it just makes very it look flattering. Like, yeah. It you have to drop your shoulders for me. Yeah, and then bring them back slightly like that. Perfect. Ooh. Okay. Perfect. Ooh. Is it really tight? I love this. Let me see. Wait. Oh my god. Wait, yeah, maybe this is the one. This is so cute. This is the first one. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> That's the one. That I feel like a princess. Yeah, it like, comes in black too and also brown for future reference. Oh my god. Doesn't it make you just feel so like. I feel snatched in this. Because there's a corset details here and at the back. And, and then it creates the illusion that you have like a really hourglass shape because of the placement of this seam. So see how it pops out higher and then your gosh. waist goes low? I feel so snatched in this. You can help. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a lot prettier like that. So vintage nightgowns, basically. And most of the things I design are inspired by vintage hunt's gonna be and I'm so excited because I know makeup's in all this oh my gosh look at that bow there's names on these eggs oh my gosh these are huge too I'm so excited there's gonna be a Gabby egg
so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is my favorite foundation, as you guys know. The egg foundation. And rightfully so, there are Easter eggs in here. Oh my gosh, guys. I want a green room now. I'm at the cutest coffee shop ever, and I just realized while editing and trying to export and upload that I have no outro for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming it because I was just honestly documenting my month. Taking that like work layer off of my channel has been just so amazing. So I feel like you guys can tell I'm starting to just like really get comfortable again, and I hope this vlog is perceived well. I'm like nervous to post it, but I love you guys so much. I'm gonna get back to my iced coffee. I left it chilling at the table with the footage exporting, but I'm gonna go add this clip and I love you and I'll see you in my next fancy vlog. Happy Gabster. <laughs>